I, I like it when people like me, but they can't see me. They can't find me anywhere. I like it when, when I'm scarce. It was kind of hard because people, they don't just believe in you. They just see a guy who's a TV presenter, who's an MC trying to do music. And they're like, who is this guy? So there's a lot of intimidation, a lot of uh, critiques. First of all, you can, you know. But uh, it has been a rough journey. But I'm a hustler. I'm a writer. When I like something, I like it. If you don't like it, it's up to you. But as myself, when I feel it, when I feel like I can do something, bro, I'm going to go out of my way for me to get it or for me to do it. So there's been a hard journey. But finally, I'm here and I'm still going hard. All I can tell the guys that are watching me right now, that are listening to me, don't mind about what people say. Stick to the plan. Have a plan. The problem is most of the youths don't have a plan. They think, oh, I'm just going to bump from nowhere and bump into music. I mean, come from nowhere and then bump into music. It's not, it doesn't work like that. I had a plan. My plan was start as a TV presenter, get into MC, get into music. That's a plan. Have a strategy. People will always put down people who don't have plans. Before I joined TV, um, I sat down and I told myself, because when I lost my parents when I was you know, young, I had, I had to stop school. So I had to look for something I can do. Got, got a chance to be on TV, but then I promised myself when I get on TV, I'll go back and study. Went back and studied and graduated. After that, I was like, what else will I do after? Then MCing, got a couple gigs, then, did, then I was like, I'm okay with that. Now what else? Music, I can try it out. Let me give myself a shot. Never be afraid to try yourself for different things. If you're afraid of trying out different things, you'll never be successful. Most of the challenges are first, uh, uh, people on social media try to think they know a lot, think they know better, they criticize a lot. Somebody who has never held a microphone will come out and tell you, Tomanyu Kuyimba, but they don't know what happens behind the microphone. They've never been in the studio. They don't know the pressure. They don't know what comes along with you coming up with lyrics. But they'll come and say, Tomanyu, Tomanyu. That kind of you know, challenge. It is actually one of the challenges that puts out very many musicians that are creative. Being creative, you gotta be in your own space to come up with something that you love. But people will tend to think they know you better than you know yourself, which is hard. When I get on the mic, there's a way I sing, because I know myself. I know my capabilities, I know my strength. But people think they know. That's the problem with social media. So social media is, uh, people, everyone is actually gonna come out and say, Lord, that's one of the problems. The only advice I can give, you know, the Chris, Crystal Pando then, is like, man, stay focused. Do you, be you. The world will take you the way you are. If they don't like, it's up to them. When it comes to TV, I always keep time. Even if I have a show and, you know, performance somewhere else, TV become, you know, comes first. TV is a priority to me because it made me. I can't just get a gig when I know between the time I'm supposed to be on TV is the time I'm supposed to be performing somewhere. I can't get that gig. I, you know, tell the promoter, bro, I'm supposed to be on TV at this time. Make sure your show is not within this time frame. And also, when it comes to other, you know, for example, musician, being a musician, there are things I don't do. Like, for example, I'm not everywhere. As a musician, you're not supposed to be everywhere. I'm not everywhere. You're not going to find me in every spot. I, I like it when people like me, but they can't see me. They can't find me anywhere. I like it when, when I'm scarce. So I've managed to manage it myself in a way that... I feel like to some people it's hard, but to me it's easy trying to keep myself away from everyone as I focus on what I'm doing. I mean, it's, uh, the inspiration behind the song is all about street vibes. I uh, wanted to bring back the vibes we used to have way back, because I mean, I grew up in Masaka, so I wanted to bring back that kind of vibe we used to have on the streets. They used to play the music, the chidandali, the chinyanya, the way we used to dance. And uh, when you watch the video of Kenzo, that kind of dancing stamina, so I feel like I need to bring it back for people to enjoy it, because right now, so when they were dancing, well, it was the only dance that I felt like it could pop up and with a vibe. So I felt like I need to, you know, bring it back. That's why I had to do that song. Uh, people, people, do, people only talk about people that are doing something. When I remember where I started from, I was in Masaka. Nobody knew me. Nobody used to talk about me. But if you're talking about me right now, that means I'm big. Why would you talk about something that is useless? If you talk about something that is useless, that means you're useless too. I think God is on my side, and every time I kneel down and thank God. I've never spent money on a video. All the videos you've seen, people just come and be like, bro, I'm gonna put money in you, do this. I'm being honest. Choino Mania, there was a gentleman called Morris Nigisha, respect to him. He was like, he heard of the song, he was like, hey, Christo, can you make a nonkaga de quota cent or get a shooting? Even in Pere. Uh, I was right there, I played the song to Eddie Cheyne, I was with him. And I played, you know, the song for him, and I was like, hey, bro, this song is good. What a cent or get a shooting video. Like that. The most favorite is you get free things, man. 
free things, you know that people always come, you be there and somebody's like, hey man, you sang this, this line is one of my hardest lines. What's, you know, what's your number that I can send on? They can send you money. The other problem of being a musician is people expect you to have everything. Like you're supposed to be rich, you're supposed to be driving an expensive car, you're supposed to be living in a mansion, which is hard, which is hard. If you are a straightforward person like me, me I don't pretend. I'm living a life that I feel like I can afford. You're not going to find me in a car that is too expensive that's not mine because I want to show you that I'm rich. I want to be remembered as an artist who uh, paved the way for young dancers, young talented guys. When you look at my videos, you're going to be seeing so many dancers. All the videos I do, they're dancers. Why? People don't look at these young dancers, look at, well, you know, the professional dancers. But the young dancers, those guys are skilled, they're talented, but nobody gives them an opportunity to be in videos. So I want to be remembered as a guy who gave such guys an opportunity. I also want to be remembered as a guy who helped people when they were in need. I do charity, but people don't know about that. There are kids at people's school fees, but people don't know about it. When I do shows in schools, the money that comes out. Me, I be on TV, people think you're rich. The parents come, my daughter, let me know, Dr. Soma, help me. So the shows I do, the money I get, quarter, like that. So I want to be remembered as somebody who pushed the young people to live the real life, not the fake life. Real life is when you're yourself, you have 1,000 shillings, but you can use the 1K to do something that it is in your means, not to fake when you have, like you have one million yet you don't have.